Hello again, this is PC Delta Link, back with our Enigmatica 2 Let's Play Normal Mode. This is episode 30. Alright, so we're going to do a couple things in this episode. We're going to add some more stuff to our applied energistics system, this time on camera. And we are going to upgrade our um, two laser drills down in the basement in our drill area. So I'll probably do one of these on camera and then the other one I'll do in between episodes off camera. Just because y'all don't need to see me do this twice probably. So, okay, we're going to start. We're going to take our cardboard box that we've used this before. We're also going to... Actually, we'll upgrade this far one. Because we're going to cut the power to it. And we're going to need these back in our inventory at the moment. We're going to take our cardboard box, grab this... And then we're going to go and mine up this um, void drill. And we'll go ahead and break this as well. Alright, so now we need to look real quick at the recipe for this. So, here's our Tier 1 miner that we had set up previously. 24 structure frame Tier 1s, 20 structure panels, no modifiers, 2 laser core, and a clear laser lens. Or whatever color you want there. Here's the Tier 2. So it requires these structure frame Tier 2s. Uh, actually less structure panel, 16 instead of 20, and then four modifiers of some kind, either speed, accuracy, luck, or null. And then laser cores. We actually need one more laser core, and then, again, just a laser lens. So, I'm going to go ahead and show you the recipe for this, because our system can actually automatically create these now. So you remember, here's our structure frame tier 1s, the interconnect, the lithorite, iron and lapis. Here's tier two. So it's very similar. It just, it takes a structure frame tier one and the erodium crystals and then gold and lapis. So you always use the previous structure frames to build the next one. I'm going to cut that back just a little bit further. So all right, we are going to take this with us. And again, to break this this easily, we're just holding shift and holding right click with our assembling tool. And this will instantly break any of these blocks and pick them up. Or it won't pick them up. It'll just drop them for me to pick up. One thing I should note, when you are disassembling these drills like this, um, be kind of careful in the middle. Because remember, this drops all the way to bedrock. And uh, it's very easy and possible to like drop a piece down there. And then you have to go get it. <laughs> so... Just be careful with that when you're doing this. If I didn't realize there was holes right here. We're going to fix this real quick. There we go. Okay, so for the Tier 2 drill, you notice the structure is 7x4x7 seven by by seven for the Tier 1. That's 7 wide, 7 long, and 4 tall. The Tier 2 is the exact same dimensions for length and width. It's just one block taller. So, all right, we're going to take these back to the base. And then we have our chest right here in our cardboard box. We're going to import the items from this into our system, which won't take long. And we're just doing this to clear out the chest before we remake this thing. And I think we only have two acceleration cards in here. Yeah, I could make that faster, but I think that's plenty fast as it is. All right. Okay, so back upstairs. You might remember just for fun at the end of last episode, we had made um, eight of those structure frame tier twos. I did that because we're going to need eight more of these. We're going to take our tier ones and drop them in our system. Because now we can actually order our system to create the ones we need. So we need 24 more of these. Which you see, since it already has 24 of these, all it has to do is just combine them in a crafting table. It doesn't take it, but... Yeah, literally seconds to finish that. It's already done. So I'm going to do stored and craftable. So let me find those again real quick. There we go. There's 24, so that makes 32. We actually need less structure panels, so we only need 16. We're going to drop those in there. I'm used to clicking this, sorry. All right, we need null modifiers. Oh, we have two right here already. So, let's go back and find those again. Where's no modifier? Here it is. We need two more. So, we're going to tell it to craft us two more no modifiers. You see, this is more 
a longer process to get this. But still, it does not take it long. The slowest thing is waiting for the growl to process, but even that doesn't take long. And see, it's just going to be done here in seconds. And that might be, I don't remember which uh, crusher gravel is in. It might be in the unupgraded crusher downstairs, and that might be why it's taking that long to do that. Okay, and the last thing I believe we need is another laser core, which you've seen that recipe before. And again, you can look these up as well if you need to on your own playthrough, even though I've already gone through them once. So, alright, the last thing we have to do before we're done is we have to upgrade this Void or Miner controller into a Tier 2 version. It's not, it's still currently the Tier 1 version. You have to have it as a Tier 2 in order to upgrade it. So, to do that, you're going to need, I believe it's 4? No, it's 6, okay. Okay. So, you need 6 of the next tier of Crystal Block, so 9 pieces of it. And we need six of these. We're going to need another laser lens. So we're just going to make this by hand because I know the recipe. So just another laser lens. And then a block of diamond. So oh, I got to clear the crafting table to make this better. All right, so that goes there. These go on the edges. This goes in the middle. And then that goes here. And there we go. There's a Void or Miner Controller Tier 2. So, all right. All we do with this is we go back to our drills over yonder. And now this is kind of somewhat annoying that you have to do. So, let's see. Whoa. Uh, the lag there. Holy cow. One, two, three, four. I think that's right. Is it just one block above me or two? It's two blocks above me. Okay. So yeah, that's correct. Okay. So the controller will go here. All right. So let me clear these out. And then just like before, to assemble this, you just look at your Voider Miner controller and hold right click and it will take any of these blocks in your inventory to properly assemble the uh, laser drill. Okay, and it says structure assembled true, so we're done. And last thing we need to do is put a chest on top of it and reconnect it back to power. Did not mean to do that. Okay. Okay, and it's full of power again. So it should be working here. I'm gonna verify and make sure it is. So I'm gonna wait a second here until we get our first piece of ore out of this. There we go. Okay, lithorite. All right, we're good. It's working properly. Oh, come on. And if we wanted, we could uh, change this to where these were not null modifiers, they were speed, but I currently don't have the power system to do that, but we might fix that this episode. I think I'll try to, actually. So, okay. That's it for down here for now, and I'll upgrade this middle one off camera. And, yeah, you can see why I've really never bothered to add a fourth drill, because I don't think I need it. Honestly, the drills we have now are gaining us a ridiculous amount of materials as is for not a whole lot of power this is slightly more expensive than the tier one drill to run whoops but i think i should still be able to handle it yeah we're a little higher we're about 500k per tick or 500 rf per tick higher i almost said 500k yeah we're not running that kind of power um but yeah it's still manageable our system is still handling it just fine Okay, actually I have a couple things I could do. So we're going to start with upgrading our Emmy area downstairs to show you that kind of on camera. So we're going to start with actually creating some blank patterns. Because I need some more blank patterns. We're going to order it to make us 10. And you see it has all of them, the recipes for it. 
and this should not take it long. Um, might have been waiting a couple seconds here. It's already got one. So, what are we doing here? Oh, it's got to crush the Certus Quartz dust. That's the problem. So, well, in the meantime, I uh, can work on some stuff. So, we, we'll take the one we have here and put it in here. All right, we are going to teach this thing how to make uh, some cabling. Oh, can I order this at the same time? I can, okay. Yeah. We are going to teach this thing how to make some of those cables. So the Fluix cables in particular and the quartz fiber cables. So I believe I need... I need some crushed nether quartz. I think crushed certus quartz works as well, but I believe... Well, hmm. You know what? I got enough of either one. It really doesn't matter. <laughs> Let's let me crush three of these. And you saw there for a second that one showed that it was still up here, but it wasn't in here. That happens sometimes for some reason. If you just exit the interface and go back into it, it should be fixed. So don't worry about that too much. All right, now I believe I remember this right, so we're gonna hope I do this right. Otherwise, it'll look really silly. I think it's just this, and it yes, okay. So we're going to encode that pattern, take that. And then I'm actually going to craft that for real. That was just the pattern for the uh, pattern terminal. So we're actually going to craft that for real. Then we're going to take this glass and get rid of it. Take our Fluix crystals. That doesn't matter the orientation, that's kind of nice. Oh, I actually need these with me because I got to show the system how to do this. So, all right, we're going to take our flukes crystals right here. Then do that. Encode that pattern. Teach that how to make those. And then I believe we don't have our wool in here, but we can fix that real quick. We have a decent amount of wool. Actually, we are kind of running low. We're down to a stack. So we're going to throw our wool in here. Well, we're going to take one piece of wool. Throw the rest in here. Take one piece of wool with one piece of cable and create covered cable. Our other patterns should be done now. So let me find those real quick. Hmm. Okay, see, this is good. We're hanging on something downstairs. So let's go take a look and let's see what's happening or not happening. I never really got a chance to test this room out thoroughly yet, so it is possible we do not have something properly working here. So let's see. Oh! Huh. Ah! <laughs> oh gosh, I feel like an idiot, but yes, this is perfectly viable reason for this not to be working. There's no power down here. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, hmm. I remember I was planning to run a quantum entangle reporter down here, and that's why I didn't actually bring wires down here. But I could probably... Oh gosh, I can't believe we forgot to put power on there. I could probably fix this real quick. Let me, uh, whoops. Let me run back upstairs. Let me build a couple more pieces of cable real quick. Using our crafting terminal here. Let me just put a piece of redstone here. Give me some steel. Yeah, let me just do this and... <laughs> oh gosh, that's funny. Okay, we're just gonna... This is gonna be temporary. We're just gonna dig down and go get it. One, two, three, four. This is probably good enough. Okay, I can't see. <laughs> uh, let me get this. Alright, good enough. There we go. Okay. Actually, we're really close. Alright, we're just gonna... 
run this through the floor for now. I do have these all connected to each other, so this should work properly once I hook up power to it. I'm sorry about that. I completely forgot that I did not have power set up on this yet. Okay. Oh, that leads to... Oh, okay. I throw another torch in there. There we go. Okay. <laughs> All right. Power should be working now. <laughs> Let's go back over here and we'll check our progress now. There we go. It's working now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, I am so sorry about that. How much is it crafting all that? Are we still hanging on something? Because... Well, it says we're still crafting that. Okay, we have the enrichment factory, yes. Oh, I bet it's in the um, slow speed crusher. I bet you. The one that's not upgraded at all yet. Yeah, it is. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take these and just... Oh, auto sort, please. Glad I checked that. So, okay. Okay. <laughs> Make sure to put auto sword on all of these, actually. I'm glad I came down here to look at that. Okay. Let's try that again one more time. Once more, with feeling. It should be done now. Yes, okay. Okay, that was an interesting little diversion there. Okay, so we've got... Let me grab our blank patterns again. Here they are. There's our new nine blank patterns. Okay, so we have the dense cable... All right, now we need to teach it how to create, um, we have our covered cable, we need to teach it how to create dense cable. So we're actually gonna take our, uh, let's see if we can find it. Here's some quartz fiber. Take our quartz fiber, put some fluix around it. We're gonna hold that there. Put that there. Where's our wool at? Here it is. Take some wool. Yeah. All right, so get four of these. Then we're gonna take this back down here again. Do that and tell it this is how you make dense covered cable. And then finally, we're going to take these. Oh, we're going to do two things real quick. We need a piece of glowstone. Here we go. We're going to teach it this is how you make smart cable. You can see why I said you need a ton of these patterns, because we're going through this stuff like crazy. Okay, we're going to make this into a dense cable. Then we're going to come back to our pattern. Good night. We're going to get a lot of stuff here, probably. And then this should be our final pattern for now. And there's our dense smart cable pattern. So we're going to encode that. Go ahead and drop this in here. Okay, now we need a place to put this downstairs. So we are going to... I'm going to show you guys on camera how to create a new network real quick. So we're going to set up our second processing area for crafting. And it's just going to be a very basic one since we're not... I just want to keep moving on this episode. So we're just going to tell it to make us two of these ME interfaces. This should only take a couple seconds. Yeah, it's already done. So we got those. So we're going to be going downstairs again. And we're going to set this up in the new area right over here. 
Well, I'm glad it's keeping track of the stuff I created already. Oh gosh, it's gonna be uh, <laughs> a lot of quests. All right, so these are our new crafting interfaces. We're gonna drop some of these patterns in here. And just kind of scatter them around. They're really kind of quick, so all these, it really doesn't matter too much what you put them in. Okay, next thing we need is we're actually going to destroy this cable here. We're going to mine into the wall just a little bit right here. Okay, this will be fine. Okay, next thing we're going to need, we need a couple last items and then we'll be ready to continue this. What have we got in our backpack? Not dense cable, that's for sure. <laughs> okay, I require... Yeah, let me take my dense covered cable. We're just going to create this into a smart cable real quick because we need one smart cable downstairs. So there's our dense smart cable. We need a P2P tunnel, which we've got those in here. We just need one. Oh, we need molecular assemblers. I was trying to... Rem I'm sorry, my brain just decided not to work there. Yeah, we need a couple of molecular assemblers. We'll tell it to make us four for now. Oh, and we're missing logic processors. Okay, we can fix that real quick. We might even have some in the chest over here. Oh yeah, we got 21. Heck yes. We are going to get these automated and into the system, but for now they're still manual inputs, but we will be changing that fairly soon. That's my next big project is to figure out how to automate those, and I will go through that on camera once I'm able to do that. Okay, so we're going to drop these logic processors in there. Go back to our molecular assemblers. And yeah, we'll make four. That should be enough to demonstrate this. And just go ahead and hit start, and they should already be done, pretty much. Oh, no, they aren't. I'll give it a sec. <laughs> oh, gosh, it's the same, <laughs> the same thing we kind of ran into earlier with the quartz glass again. Well, hopefully this won't take too long. I'm sorry, we will upgrade those speed things later. So I think we've already got one. As soon as we get two, it's enough for me to demonstrate this to the point that I'm wanting to, at least. Come on, give me a second one, please. Please. Yeah, it physically hurts that this takes this long for those pieces to be done here. Okay, seriously? What is the problem here? Jeez, it takes that long to get that. Yeah, we've got to upgrade the speed on those. That's going to be my project in between episodes is I'm going to train it how to do that. Hmm. Okay. All right, we got three. That's, that's good. That's good enough. Okay, we're going to go back down here. Take our molecular assemblers. We're going to just put them right like that. That's good enough for now. Okay, we need our glass cable, we need our P2P tunnel, we need our smart cable. So we're just going to branch right off of this one and have it just come right down here. Take our P2P tunnel, put it there. And now this does take a channel on its own. So we should be at three on this now. Yes, we are. Three out of eight. So, all right, we're going to come over with our... Our memory cards in our backpack. Yep, here it is. Take our memory card. Shift, right click this one. And then walk over here. And right click this one. It'll match the colors now. And then we will put our dense cable down. And you see it says we're using three of 32 channels. So one interface, two interface, and then the crafting storage is three. And then if we come back over here, we'll still be using only three. So yeah, there, we just demonstrated on camera how to set up one of these P2P tunnels and how to get the most out of the channels that are in it. 
So these uh, crafting and storage things, I could make these bigger if I wanted to. Just for now, this is fine. I've still got lots of free space even on this one that isn't used yet. Like this one's not used at all. This one's not used at all. So I can upgrade this for sure, and I will. But this is just to show how this is set up. Okay, so with that out of the way, the next thing we're going to do is we are going to start to fix our energy problems, I think. And I'm going to hope this is done crafting because we need our CP. Okay, good it is. So, okay. You can build more than just laser drills with these. So we have a void over miner. We are going to make some solar arrays. These are just massively powerful solar panels once they're more upgraded. They're kind of weak at first. But once you get a decent size one, they're actually really good. So I'm going to look at our materials here and we might be able to get something actually quite powerful here. We're going to start with a tier two solar array. So I need 25 solar cells, four null modifiers. We'll get into piezo in a different episode. And then we need structure frame tier two, 24. So we're going to order that. Structure frame tier two, we need 24. See, look at all this material this takes. <laughs> okay, real quick. Let me find those structure frames. Wait, what just, oh, okay. 24, 24. Wait, where are they? Oh, it's still going through it. Okay, never mind. It takes a sec. All right, while that's building, I'll show you the solar panels that we're gonna be making and their recipes. So the first thing you're gonna need is, it requires interconnects, you've seen those before, but now we need photovoltaic cells, which that's actually fairly cheap. It's just lapis surrounding a piece of nether quartz. So not terribly expensive. And just three of those, the interconnect, and then three of your respective crystal gets you that solar cell. We're going to be making erodium solar cells to start with here. So, and all these require the previous tier. So, the tier three, the chironite requires the erodium, the erodium requires the lithrite. So, the recipes are fairly simple, but you just got to get through the initial cost of them. Okay. We should be done. Yes, we are. So, let me grab my uh, 24 structure panel tier two. And then, let's see, we need four null modifiers yeah four modifiers and then 25 solar cells so, all right let's get four null modifiers it is so nice just being able to auto craft this stuff now and not caring at all <laughs> just clicking a button and letting it go and then just watching it be done within seconds there's our null modifiers okay last thing we need is 25 Oh, I taught it the tier three recipe, but not the tier two. Okay, well, we can fix that. We'll tell it to make 25 litharite ones. Yeah, this isn't too bad. Yeah, this is going decently quick. The reason some of this is taking long is, again, we have our a couple of our machines downstairs are not maxed out at all. So I might run down and speed this up if I can. Oh gosh. Okay. <laughs> We're going to do this. <laughs> and put the gravel in here. Okay. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh, that, that hurts. Yeah, I'm so sorry about that. We will fix that in between episodes. We'll get some speed upgrades in those and factory upgrades and fix that. Sorry, right, our 25 should be done. Okay, not quite. What are we waiting on? Oh, it's still doing some crafting. Yeah, this does take a lot of... You can imagine how long it would take us to do that by hand. So, all right, where's our... Here's our 25. So I actually need to train it how to craft the tier two ones, which I thought it knew that already, but clearly it didn't. So two cells and then the erodium crystals. All right, so I need to tell it to create 
two solar cells for me. Okay, then we'll go to our pattern terminal down here. Do that. And then our solar cell. And where's our erodium? Where is our erodium? Do we not have any? Oh my gosh, are we out of erodium crystals? No, we aren't. I don't know why I couldn't see them then. Okay, whatever. I didn't think we were. All right, well, there's the pattern for that. So we're gonna run back downstairs. Do you see why this took me a while to get some of these set up just because of how much back and forth I had to do for this? All right, just gonna throw that in there for now. So now the system knows how to create that. And we're just gonna tell it to, we're gonna drop these 25 back in here and just tell it to make us, uh, we should be seeing that. Why aren't we seeing that? Oh, because I had one? Okay. All right, tell it to make us 24 then. Okay, and real quick, so the last thing we need is we need a solar array controller. So just like the Voidmire controller, you have to have a controller for this as well. Oh, and this takes more solar cells. Okay, that's fine. So yeah, this isn't too bad. Okay, let me, uh, how are we doing on time here? Okay, if we're a couple minutes over, that's okay. I'm actually going to, real quick, for the sake of our sanity, I'm gonna move this recipe over to the faster one. Yeah, same with the nether quartz one as well. We'll take the nether quartz and the lapis recipe and move them to this one real quick, just so th the stuff gets done a bit faster. There we go. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna teleport back to the base. Oh, I was probably right next to it. Yeah, I was. Okay. Okay, so we should have 25. No, we don't. What are we waiting on? Oh, it's just gotta go through it, so it takes a minute. Yeah, just look at all those crafting things doing simultaneously right there. Okay, so we actually need... There's 25. We actually need four more of these, apparently. Okay, let me look at... For some reason, I can't look at the recipes while I'm in that interface, and I'm not sure why. Okay, we'll start with the tier one. So that's just any solar cell, lithrite block, and lapis block. So I need to tell it to craft five more of these. Oh, no, I don't. <laughs> I need two more of these lithrite cells. I believe we need four of these. For that, I need some lapis, which I don't have any lapis, so we're gonna fix that real quick. Okay. <laughs> that was all I needed right there. Actually, that was more than what I needed, but that's okay. We just need four lapis for that. And I believe this was the pattern. Yes. So there's the solar array controller tier one. We'll immediately grab that. What are we waiting on? Because I should have... Ah, here we go. How are we over... Whatever. <laughs> I don't even care. Okay. We just need four of the tier twos again. There's the erodium. Okay, so this shouldn't take but a second again to get these. In the meantime, I also need the 
erodium crystals if I can find them again. Here they are. Oh, is that just four of these? Yeah, yeah, this should be good. We should be fine here. Let me find those solar cells. Yep, here we go. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. And then our solar array. And there we go. Solar array controller tier two. Okay, so we're going to take this outside. And all that we require, this is not going to be the permanent spot for this. I'm just putting this here to show it off. So, oh, geez. We're just going to add this cable on out here like this. Then we'll put our solar array on top of it just like that. And then we'll take our assembler. So this should be everything. We should have... And it shows lithorite, but you can put any cell here. So we have 24 structure frame tier 2s. We have 4 null modifiers and the 25 solar cells. So... Oh. Ah. <laughs> okay. So there we go. There's our solar panel. You see, these are pretty good size. They do take up a decent amount of room, and this is only a tier two. They get way bigger. But the nice thing about these is they're fairly modular. Like, this is a tier two, and we have tier two solar cells. But if I wanted to, I could put tier three solar cells in here, or tier ones, or whatever. It doesn't matter which solar cells you have. You could even mix and match them if you wanted to. I don't know why you would. But you can mix and match them if you wanted to. So we even now have... And actually, what I can do to demonstrate this, let me... Can I cut this off? Oh, that's not the one that's going into it. Ha <laughs> ha, my bad. Okay. No, that's the one supplying our farms. Let me cut off real quick the, the cable going to our power gen just to see how much our solar panels are giving us. And also to demonstrate that, we need to cut off the cable from the wind farms real quick. So let me cut that, okay. Our network is probably crying in agony right now. So we're inputting 1.2K. That's not awful, considering that's completely free power like that. But it's definitely not sustainable. But again, that's only tier 2. So we can get tier 3s now. I actually have a ton of Chironite crystals. I could make tier 3. In fact, I might even do that real quick, just for fun. And we have a decent amount of power before the thing uh, dies on us in a horrible death. So we're going to mine this up real quick. Okay, we should have all 25. We do. And I already taught it how to make the tier 3 ones. So let's just run back over here. We're going to put these... Are we offline? We shouldn't be. Oh, we are because... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I know why. I know why. Not a big deal. The reason we're offline is... Remember I had said that for now our system was just running off the gas burning generator on its own? it wasn't actually connected to the output part of the network, so by cutting off the power from the gas burn generator, we accidentally cut off power to our network. So, alright, this is going to just take a little finagling. So, alright, let's go back to base. And it's close. I don't know why I scrolled down so far. Okay, here we go. Try this again. Put the erodium back in here. Find our tier 3... Here it is, tier 3 Chironite. 25. Now, if I remember right, tier 3 is where these start getting pretty decent. We'll look and see how much this gives us. So we were at 1,200 per tick from this. Oh, geez, this is taking longer than I thought it would. Oh, there, the system's picking it up faster. 
So it's just got to get started on doing that faster, that's all. So yeah, it picks up pretty quick. We could add an acceleration card down there too if we wanted to. But this still isn't too bad. We're going to be a couple minutes over, but... Well, you guys are used to that by now. I'm sorry. I'm just very bad at getting these under a decent time limit. But this is all in the name of advancement and new energy and all that good stuff. <laughs> Okay, there it's processing everything, finally. I don't really think there's a way to speed up the crafting except having more CPUs on it. All right, we're done with that. So let me grab our solar cells if I can find them. Here they are, Chironite. And now we're going to run back downstairs. We're going to cut off the gas burning generator again for a final time here. Okay. Back to base. Now we'll run back outside. And we'll just do this to reassemble it. Okay. So now let's take a look at this. One point seven K. So about five hundred RF per tick more. So it doesn't sound like a whole lot, but again, this is only tier 3. They can be upgraded. This is not a tier 3 size solar array. This is only a tier 2, so this can get a lot bigger. Um, the tier 3, I believe, is 7x7 seven seven for how many solar panels you'd have out here. So, And we will be moving on to the tier 3 drills once we get that ability. Um, the tier 3 drills, though, let me go back to our void drills real quick. Those are a lot more expensive. So like our tier one and tier two were actually less structure panels and just eight more structure frames. So not terribly expensive. Look at the tier three. We go from 32 structure frames to 56 and then 16 structure panels up to 52. It is a much, much larger structure and takes way more items to get it to that point. So it's going to be a while before we get to that point where we are going to be upgrading that. But that will come in time. And we'll make some solar arrays. We'll upgrade these as we go along. We will start fixing our energy problems in one way or another. But all right, I think that's going to about do it for today because I know we're already well over our time limit normally. So I apologize for that again. That seems to happen a lot. Oh, I figured out what it is. It's the solar panels from over there that we're getting feedback on as well. Okay, that's fine. All right, so, yeah, I hope you all have a good day, and I will see you next time. I think next time we're going to look into possibly starting some Draconic Evolution, because I believe we're ready for that. We definitely have the ore now to do it, and we'll be upgrading our AE network in between episodes. We'll be adding some more recipes to it. We'll just be adding to it. You've seen now how to create one of those, how to use P2P tunnels and how to get the output for it to branch off and get your 32 channels somewhere else. So yeah, again, and again, I know this mod is very complicated applied energistics, so if there's any questions, please do not hesitate to ask me in the comments, and I'll do my best I can to answer and help you all out on that. Alright, so you all have a good day, and I will see you next time.